New and updated mods are out now for Farm Sim 22. In total, 33 mods were released today. All platforms got 19 new and 11 updates, and PC Mac players got three updates. We also got some mods yesterday. All platforms got five updates, and PC Mac players got one new and three updates. So in today's video, we are going to look at every new and updated mod plus customization options from the past two days, as well as reviewing every mod that got an update. Timestamps are linked below. Let's do it. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms. We we have two maps. The first one is the map Crumbag. And I will say that this has gotten a lot of attention very, very quickly. This is the modder's first mod on the mod hub, but it uh, has 33 versus three votes compared to the other map. They're both very similar. Anyway, thought it was interesting to mention that. Um, this is a normal size map but it's got a lot of interesting fields it's also extremely varied when it comes to its terrain and height there's a lot of different things here uh, pretty much everything's base game like uh, you got stuff from base game over here you even got clutch's tractor on the roof so i appreciate that although we have an american gas station on there and then we have base game buildings for everything it's a bit not too crazy you should be able to delete those as well we do have an area around here in the middle of the town uh, i was having some frame issues around here but i think it's just from shaders being compiled you kind of see it right there uh doing a little bit of a jerk now let's take a look at what we own in new farmer mode we get quite a bit we've got uh one four nine ninety five seventy seven forty three and ninety four down there as well a whole lot of stuff a whole lot of fields quite a few different things we'll take a look at what's ready to go so we've got one field that's ready of course that's probably going to be yeah wheat we also have another wheat field down there and we have a farm area there and all kinds of little stuff through around as far as what we get in new farmer mode of course we have a styre we've got our fent 724 oh, very nice good starting tractor there top liner of course we gotta have that manitou it's nice to see a telehandler two velga trailers we have your header we have a cultivator and a cedar for crop protection and stuff we have the fertilizer spreader we got a mower we also have your tenor and a windrower and a baler it's a forestry equipment on here there's a lot of logging to do front loader front loader tools we have telehandler tools and then we have a header trailer. So there you go. That is uh, kind of everything here. I also like to take a look at the growth calendar. It looks pretty similar to what we get in base game. Uh, if uh, nothing's changed at all there. So uh, yeah, come back, new map. Also think it's important to let you guys know that it requires six mods and here they are. And your other new map today for all platforms is going to be Sunside. This is a very interesting map. It is a floating style map, so you've got mountainous regions all the way around. However, the map itself is floating in mid-air. The uh, map has got three courtyards, 63 fields, eight forestry. I got the BGA, 11 points of cell, etc., etc. We do start off with a small amount of fields. However, you can buy them up quickly. You can also buy the outside of the map. Value zero dollars. Great job. This is something a lot of people miss. Buying the outside of the map for zero dollars. Perfect. I have no complaints. Very, very nice. Um, taking a look at what we do own, we've got a field that looks like it's ready to be planted, and then we've got an area right here with some uh, greenhouses. Very cool. And then a couple areas right here in the middle of the uh, map as well. Uh, we do have rocks and things like that. You can kind of see that they've been used to decorate the map. That's kind of neat. I like that, that they utilize something that's actually in the game for decoration. Some honors do this, to be fair but not everybody. So there you go. There's that. Now again, pretty darn flat. Uh, blau plots. All right. That, that came out of nowhere, didn't it? <laughs> taking a look at the planting calendar. It looks like base game to me. And then taking a look at what we get in new farmer mode. We have the Valtra N175 Direct. Cool to see a Valtra. We also have the Fent Vario 314. So that's a bit of a smaller one, but it's nice to see that nonetheless. A Dewey's Far Tom Liner and a Klaus Trailer. We do have a header that goes along with the Combine. We have a smaller plow, 160 horsepower required for that. Uh, but we've got plenty of power for it. Cultivators, we have a uh, four meter, five meter cultivator. We got three meter cedar. We got a fertilizer sprayer and spreader. We also have front loaders and your header trailer. Just like the last map, this one has some required mods as well, except there are nine here. That's it for maps, but we do have a couple new mother, well, vehicles for all platforms. The Tatra 815. This is a body style truck, so we have three different bodies to go along with it. Take a look at the truck first. 305 horsepower. We got a manual transmission on there. 
400 liters of fuel. Holds a lot of fuel, 49 miles per hour. Lizard branded tires come as standard, but we could go with Continental or Michelin if you want to. Main colors, we have all of the above, but we do have some older colors as well. We also have interesting design colors and then rim colors. One interesting thing, that design color is the hub. That is kind of cool. I don't know if I've seen anything like that before. Now, let's talk about our beds. The first one is going to be a regular tipper bed, 19,000 liters or 25,000 liters. We'll also do 26 if you want to. And it looks like we have a doors and everything configuration for uh, for the BS1010. That's pretty cool. How's about this one? This is a manure and lime spreader. No solid fertilizer here, but it does hold 17,000 liters, 120 horsepower required. Not that it matters or anything. We got a 24 meter spread at 12 miles an hour. And then finally, we have a slurry spreader. Yeah, spreader. Uh, five meters at 10 miles an hour, and it holds 15,000 liters. Next up, we got the New Holland TM tractors. These are from Solutions Mining. We have two of them. We have one without a cab and one with a cab. We'll take a look at the one without a cab first. 110 horsepower manual transmission. We got 270 liters of fuel, 23 miles an hour, and weighs 6.3 tons. Configurations, we have a standard config, but we also have a 225 kilogram front weight. We got up to 495 on that if you want to and then uh, even numbers 200 440 or back to standard again engines 110 123 and 133 and 142 horsepower we also have that 150 so you go all the way up to 150 if you want to wheel brands michelin continental bkt Vetestein, and lizard ties we've also got decoration uh, bands or decorative bands on there we got the 1999 like that 2003 not a big fan but hey still pretty cool 05 and then uh uh you can debrand this thing if you want to fenders we have front fenders we have front and rear rear ones only none of them and back in hood model we have original and black grid we also have a blue grid red we have the blue power grid that's interesting and original exhaust we have the original we have the chrome with the grid on there original without the grid etc etc panels we have original or plastic kind of like plastic on there we'll keep that Front loader, we have a quickie. We also have Hauer or Nada. Main color, we can also change this up, which is very nice. Design, which is going to be your frame. And then rim colors are rim colors. And then we have exactly the same customization options here, but this has a cabin instead of a canopy. Next, we have the Load King Max Wing 44 foot from JM Garcia. I was actually going to be recording a first look on this today. I got this mod maybe two weeks ago, but uh, I haven't had any time to do it, but I don't have to. Now you can use it. We have a 100,000 liter capacity in here, which is just epic. So that's configuration. That is a real config with one grain door. Then we have uh, the cover on there, which drops it down to 90,000 liters. Then we have the triple grain door back up to 100, back to 90. And then we have the unreal, is so we have 600 or 500,000 liters. Oi, big oi. And then back down to rear. Real, real, real. How is a hundred thousand liters real? That's awesome. Oh, sign me up. Continental tires start us off, but we can go to a BKT, which are big old chunky boys. We also have Michelin and Nookie and tires. How about some T404s in the Trelleborg or even the flotations in Vredestein? They have them all very cool. Steering axle configuration we have yes or no. And then axle configs, we have three or two, or even one. So yeah, you could drop this down to a single axle in the back. I think it looks a little bit weird like that, but hey, you could do it if you want to. It looks pretty good too, but I like all four. Decals. Now, here's where it gets really neat. We have Load King, but we can also do Dimco or Wilson trailers if you want to. So that is super neat. Rear hitch. Yeah, you could throw a rear hitch on there if you want to and uh, put a dolly on and hook a bunch of these together. We also have that multi-hitch, so hooks up pretty much anything except for three-point. Rear strobe lights. We've got red, blue, green, orange, purple, white, red and blue, red and blue the other way around, which red should be on the driver's side always, red and white, then we have white and red, green and orange, orange and green, green and white, and then none. Color or cover color, um, well, we don't have the cover on there right now, but that would be where that is. Color chassis, all of these may look familiar to you guys. This is 82 Studios color palette, color chassis box, you could do that color sides let's go with a uh, nice yellow and then the skirt color maybe a uh, uh, oof green and then the color rims 
It'll be a different green. <laughs> Just figured I'd show you guys every customization option. These are some epic trailers. Super happy that you guys get to use them now. Next is a fuel tanker. This is the Lizard FD55. Holds 5,500 liters of fuel only. Starting off, we have John Deere colors, but we can change them up. How about we change these up to case colors? So first is main color. So we'll go with a case red there. Then we have design color. I'm going to guess onyx black down there. Yup. Stripe color. Eh, we could probably do white. White works. Uh, decals. Black is good. And then room colors. We'll go with a light gray. There you go. Very easy. No wheel color or, or no wheel options themselves. Would be nice maybe in a future update to see some different wheels. Next, we have a pair of Romaco mods from JMZ. The first one is the U684. It's a shallow cultivator and well, there's really nothing else to it. 95 horsepower, three meters at eight miles per hour. We do have a couple color options so we can change up the cultivators in the middle and then our design color on the roller. So you can keep that to be black and blue or go all blue with it. Then we have the second mod, the Romaco U624. This is a subsoiler, 175 horsepower required, three meters at seven miles per hour. Beam with lights, we have yes and no. Basically we have the road lights if you want those. And then side covers. That is very cool how they just kind of magically pop up like so. Yay, we. Weep. All right, that's enough of that. Next, we got a snowplow. This is the Smez Alps 331. It's got a 3.3 meter work with, and we have a three point hitch, but we also have front loader, telehandler, and wheel loader. So if you need those, go for it. It's pretty cool. Ooh, I do love mulchers, and this one's pretty neat. This is the Lizard MX6M. Uh, this is from Hulse FS, and it's got a six meter working width at 11 miles an hour, 100 horsepower. They've also made my other favorite roller, and they kind of utilize some of the same design language for this one, too. So whenever you unfold it, you are good. Now, the interior stays black, but over the outside, you could change those colors. Would be cool because this is Lizard, so it's not based on uh, anything, at least uh, visibly real life. It's pretty cool to have every color option possible, but you know what? I'll take what I can get, and hey, I like this. That's it for our mods, but we do have a lot of placeables. I believe there's nine placeable mods, and in this mod pack alone, I think there's like six or seven. So this is going to be your mid-German farm pack. Quite a bit in here. The first one's going to be just kind of like... A shed. We got a couple doors on the sides, things like that. Then we have a couple different style and different size sheds. This is kind of like a corner. It's kind of backed up a little bit. This one's backed up a little bit too, but it's a bit smaller. And then we have a farmhouse that goes along with it. Unfortunately, can't go in there and do anything. And the trigger is in the air, which for some reason is is actually not triggering anything. <laughs> and then uh, we go around here. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Uh, what could be causing that? F5 to the rescue. Very interesting. So either I... Oh. I think that's probably it. Uh, yeah, it thinks that the building's bigger than it is. Shouldn't be doing that. You see, it doesn't do that there. Anyway, uh... Maybe stay away from that <laughs> that house. And then we've got a couple places for Katatol. Let's jump in here and take a look at our cattle. So first one is going to be with a uh, with a pasture. So that's kind of neat. Uh, we hold 30 cattle, so it's not a huge place. The whole thing's not taken up for cows. It's just a small little part. Uh, 33,750 for food. Same thing for milk. Uh, 21,375 for straw. And then 56,000 for slurry. So at least you've got that. Uh, you shouldn't fill that up anytime soon. Jumping around, just kind of showing off the outside of the building so that you guys can get a good look at it. And then we have a version without a pasture over there. Um... Uh, I don't always like to ask how things pass testing, uh, but I think this one's got some problems. Next, we got the small pig pen, and believe it or not, this holds 50 head of little baby piggies. 50 of them. Can you believe that? That's awesome. Uh, over here, we've got a place for food. Now, it also has a trigger, so let's jump in here and see what that trigger is. Open the door. All right. Can do, so it takes off the top and you will need some type of auger or something like that to get up there. Then we come over here and we can open that door, which is very, very cool. Doesn't look like the fence opens though, so a bit of a shame there. And then we come around towards the back. Ooh, what is this? Ha <laughs> ha, that's kind of neat. Little place right here for your slurry. So very cool. Next is our small house. This is a 
Well, very small house. It doesn't seem like we get very many large things in farming simulators as far as placeables go. But we do get small things. Uh, we do have a place right here. Um, decorations aren't fantastic, but at least you're able to put your vehicles in there. I was about to say, where do we sleep? We sleep right there. Oh, is there a way in here? Oh, look at that. Oh, now that is neat. Okay. That's pretty neat. We may not be able to go inside the house, but it's got a little area to go in. That's kind of cool, man. That's about a little place for your little baby horses. This is a horse barn and it automatically comes on with lighting at night. Holds five horses. Wouldn't expect much more than that, to be completely honest with you. Can we open it up? Yes, we can. So, yeah, pretty cool. Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. But I tell you what, if you've got just a few horses, we got a place for water, place for food. What more could you want? Plus, it looks nice. Next is our small house in a Polish style. It costs 15 grand, and it is a very small house indeed. We've got a place where we can sleep, but it looks like that is about it. Nothing around the outside outside that we could do if we go under here nothing there play your action camera if you're curious what mod i just used to do that we also let you go up as well but this isn't a mod review on that it's a mod review on the house four more placeables to get we have the cow's barn pack from vx modding uh, there are two of these however the only difference is one of them has a lately and the other one doesn't and i don't know what this button does turn on the shed lights click they're outside they are outside okay so we got food around inside we got another little spire here turn on these shed lights yeah that's what i want yeah is that like blue that looks really good uh place for your food right there and then around here towards the edge we have turn on the shed lights there very cool and then turn on the interior lights oh man dude and i love this like purplish blue tint that they've got to them is different it stands out to me i think that looks really cool let's see if we can go upstairs and see if there's anything going up there psych we're gonna go down here into the mil milking parlor i believe now we're going upstairs slowly but it is happening uh there you go now we're upstairs and we can jump now this says it has a lely built in and i would like to see where but first 200 head of cattle We've got our slurry, we've got our manure. Very nice to see both of those being a real thing. Come around. Huh. I, uh, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's in this one? Um, yeah. This is the version with the Laylee. <laughs> I'm just an idiot. So over here, we've got a place for silage directly in front of us. We also have a place for our straw and our hay. Uh, taking a look at everything, and we also have a place for mineral feed over here. 50,000 liters of mineral feed. Dang, I think you need like 1,000 liters. It'll probably last you a lifetime. Uh, we have a place for straw, silage, hay, slurry, straw, milk. Two places for straw, one there, one over there in the uh, cattle area. Nothing extra, different, crazy, whatever about this one. Everything's exactly the same, but it does have that feeding robot, and it holds quite a bit, so this may be worth it to a lot of you guys. If you played Farming Simulator 19, this may look familiar to you. This is the Cow Barn! Uh, Silabuki! Hey! <laughs> what up, dude? They made this and, uh, well, converted, I think, is probably a better, uh, better thing here. We've got a nice, easy way in. We also buy our cattle inside which is super cool they've added a door to open i don't remember that being a thing in farming simulator 19 and then we have a place around here for a bale very nice super impressed with how well that has turned out please nice place for your slurry over there now otherwise specs for this one if we look at the bottom right 150 head of cattle so uh, it's not uh, unlimited but still holds quite a few i think 120,000 liters of food we have 100,000 liters of milk 50,000 liters of straw, and 300,000 liters of slurry. Next to last, we have the Sheds Pack. We have a four bay, and then we have a larger six bay version. Nothing too crazy about these. I don't believe they've got lights or anything like that, but we do have a really nice patina on things. I think these will fit well on an American or European map, no matter where you want to put them down. Yeah, look pretty good. And lastly, we have the Dairy Mod. This is a small dairy that we place down as a selling point. Uh, and here you can sell milk and you can sell sugar as well, which is uh, quite interesting. I'm going around trying to find our sell point, And I think it was around front. Yep, it was right there. I'm just an idiot. An absolute idiot. Yeah, uh, yeah, not, 
nothing too crazy about this. Just milk and sugar. Okay. Jumping over to our mod updates for all platforms. We have Alma, Missouri, US version 1002. Added greenhouse with new fruits, apple, orange, lemon, and pineapple. Added new placeable building, juice factory with the few new products. We have apple juice, orange juice, lemonade, and pineapple juice. Added a new product in the bakery, apple pie. Added new product to the pizzeria, pineapple pizza. Added placeable fermenting silo where you could turn your grass, dry grass, champ, and alfalfa into silage along with methane gas and digestate and they fix the sheep barn fence the sheep will no longer go outside that fence these changes do not require new game saves so you could just update and be good next we got georgia farms version 1.1 replaced all trees on the map with spruce which should make logging and customizing the map a little bit easier for players the placeable areas in the middle of the map can now be purchased added two more productions we have spinnery and carpentry the starter farm and new farmer mode now comes with a silo as well and added a backdrop and a really big update to the map Reebok version 1.1 a new save game is required for this they've got new products new production point new product in onions we also have an allotment garden main available for purchase and use additionally purchasable allotment garden with onions is in the shop farm shop with opening hours in the center of the village with pallet storage farms in general all bunker silos removed the small dung heap has been optimized um, we have a new shed on uh, Eichenhof I believe multi silo built and pallet storage uh, we have another one with a fermenting silo bell, additional things, uh, and a lot of other names that I just don't know how to say. So you guys can go through here and check out the ones that you want to see. And Seto Scurry Map version 101. A new save game is required for this one. So delete your old save and start a new one. Fences around the farm are now removable. Houses, sheds, and pastures are now also removable. Fix the harvest missions. New decorations have been added. And produce your own limestone. Haven't we been able to do that for a while now? Here's a cool one, the John Deere 6M series from Blue Algen Modding, version 1.3. Three. Prices have been reduced, some XML mistakes have been fixed, wheelway models have been improved, the Quickie and the Howard front loader options have been added, and Starfire, Beacon Lights, and 100 Year Badge are now optional. Another very popular mod, the Fin Favorite 500 4 Cylinder version 101. Mod description version raised, and interactive control by Vertex Design has been installed that is PC only. And an update to the HSK series version 1.1. Visual errors corrected on the model and added new options. Rabia Super Old Batros V1. 1401.2 rework the transport animation biogas plant 150k dubs version 1.1 added manure system support another update to the small silo set with buying station version 102 added bolt with farmland attribute added the height map texture fixed the map hotspot and spawn point fixed the price and maintenance cost of buying station added unloading grid to the buying station purely optical and the floor is now painted during placement and your last update from today for all platforms is the decorative details pack version 1.2 added bought with farmland tag to every object in multiplayer and added the current description version we also have a couple updates from yesterday the first one is the annaburger hts 3416 version 1.1 added agri technica design the annaburger htd pack version 1.1 added agri technica design and also added the manure system support though um doesn't work on console so not sure why that's there now we have similar updates for a few other things as well the annaburger hts HTS 2203, HTS 2903, version 1.1. Of course, we get the Agri Technica special body paint design, and they fix the front wall clipping and fill volume on the 2203. Agri Technica design on the HTS 2012, and Agri Technica design on the Annenberger HTS 11 do 4 spreaders. Now, as I mentioned, we do have one new one for PC and Mac players, and this was from yesterday. It is the Dock Stations. We actually have two pieces and they kind of work together in a way so what you would do is you would put these outside maybe your slurry tank or something like that maybe even outside a trailer so that you don't even need to get out of your tractor in order to get slurry you just pull right up to these and put your suction cup down in there and a suction pipe and it gets the slurry out this works with pumps and hoses and it is uh, meant to be used with that stuff and not separately but i will say there's some interesting uh, artifacting or say artifacting uh, invisibility <laughs> things going on with the edge i probably expect these to get updated soon and lastly today let's talk about some updates for pc and mac players first one is some there in thurungia 3 version 2101 this is a service fix which fixed the loading script cowboy 
no longer missing the store placeable items when save game is broken or faulty XML is detected in other mods. And a really big update to a trailer pack, the BSS P93S pack version 1.2. For set number three, where there's a silage shoot and a grape shoot, the option to configure the right and left sides of the discharge was added, fixed the mesh visibility for set number one, added a natural unstained wood option in the sideboard configuration, and added a color configuration to dye the wood panels in the sideboards. We've also got a configuration of the coloring of the body and its floor as been adjusted for all bodies where you can set whether the floor should be colored accordingly to the jassy or if it should be colored with the sides we also have another set of crates was added namely set number two which mainly consists or contains crates for transporting corn chips and blown straw or regular straw you pick up off the ground and a special one with universal boxes for transporting animal feed and the design configuration for marking trailers with numbers has been extended up to 22. and your last update today for pc and mac players is the the Cow Barn Big with GEA Mix Feeder version 1001 script fix. No longer missing the store placeable items when save game is broken or faulty XML is detected in other mods. And of course, we have a couple updates from yesterday, including the Annaburger HTS 3416 version 1.1 added Agri Technica design. And an update to the Annaburger HTD pack version 1.1 added Agri Technica design and added manure system support. This one, unlike the crossplay version, is PC only which makes sense. In your last mod today, we've got an update to the manure crane for PC and Mac players. It's actually came out yesterday. Version 1.1, they've added a blue color variant, fixed the levitating farmer, aw oh man, fixed problems with selling and improved the collisions. And that is it. One heck of a Wednesday mod video. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHead fam. Make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. And we're going to keep those going. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in the United States states however since giants is a european company we don't uh, celebrate american thanksgiving so expect maybe something tomorrow maybe don't expect it I, I don't even know what to expect anymore if there's new mods we'll cover them if there's information or news we'll cover that as well regardless just hope you have a great day enjoy these mods we'll see you later